Yo. How the fuck is everybody? <laughs> Welcome. Streaming to YouTube. If you're wondering why, why am I streaming to YouTube? A couple of reasons. So, I don't even have really a following on Twitch. So, who gives a shit? Like, it's like, usually it's me and Warwana, and we're just kicking it. And I understand not everyone has a Twitch. And you got to watch ads on Twitch, no matter what you do. And I'm not planning on making any money from this. So I was like, for the sake of the people, let's just fucking stream to YouTube. That way I can completely turn off ads and you won't see any ads and you can just come watch me. No donate feature? Yeah, no, I don't have any of that shit turned on. I don't even think I can on this channel because this channel's so scrub level. I like, but I don't care. I'm not here to fucking make donation money. I'm here to just talk shit and play some video games. So I hope you appreciate it. I hope the stream looks okay. Um, we're gonna be playing some Armored Core 4, baby. So I hope you're fucking jacked and tan to play some Armored Core 4. See, why, why is the chat coming up now in the top? Like, I don't understand. It like it straight up was not working. It straight up was not working before. And now shit wants to be like, oh yeah, now we work. Now we work. I want to make it a little bit lower though. <laughs> I can't tell. I can tell it'll be a, a scrub stream. <laughs> Let's hear this update. I haven't even watched this cinematic before. I'm doing a fundraiser run next July, 100 kilometers with Commando Rising. That is fucking insane. A 100 kilometer run. How long would that even take? Because I know 70 kilometers, 70, 80 kilometers takes me about 45 minutes to an hour to drive at roughly 90 kilometers an hour. And the average human runs le like way less. So that sounds like a fucking like 12 hour run, if not longer. That's crazy. So right now, this is the opening cinematic for Armored Core 4. This is just what plays when you don't start the game yet. Yeah, so like, time's up by two. 18 hours of straight running? Shit. That's gonna be like a two day run. Yeah, I'm super jacked too. I also want to watch that again because I wasn't really paying attention. They only give you 24 hours to complete that. Jesus. Jesus. For real though, how does the stream look? Everything look clear? Look and sound clear. I don't watch on my phone. I'm watching myself. Watch myself. Watch myself. <laughs> Okay, seems like it looks okay. All right, Armored Core 4. So for those of you who don't, look at that. Look at that year at the bottom. So 2007, dude. This is before Demon Souls. This is Miyazaki's first From Software game that he got to be director on.
1997. In the myth. God is force. So none of this is gameplay, this is all cinematic. Okay, got like some fighter jets and some helicopters. All right, that looks cool. Some opera music. We got some like ATST walkers here. is in the way now. Looks cool. I don't know if you all were the same, but me, when I was younger, like, I'd watch Gundam Wing, and I was like, fuck, that would be so cool to control, like, a Gundam. And I always wanted a video game that was like that, and I specifically remember playing Armored Core 2 on PS2, and it just being like too slow, like it was too Mech Warrior like, like it would like you were just so slow, and I didn't like that. And then there was a game called Zone of the Enders, which was a lot more fast paced, uh, and I liked that game, but it just didn't quite hit like just the visceralness. All right, that's kind of cool. Armored Core 4. That font is very PS3 era. Okay. So if you're wondering, I'm emulating this on an Xbox e emulator. Um, the reason why is because I couldn't get it to work properly in RPCS3, which is the PS3 emulator. So we're doing it on the Xbox emulator. Okay, we want new game. Uh, brightness. We're gonna turn it up a little bit. It's for you guys. <laughs> it's not for me. Um, okay. I don't know what any of this means. Sure, we'll keep auto sighting, auto boost, and weapon auto switch on. Sure. Base controls. Nice. Look at that fucking Xbox controller, dude. Sick. Adjust your view three times. Nice. Reset your view. Nice. Okay, boost. Okay, that's right trigger. Use boost to move to the target destination. Okay. So I find with this game there's two types of boosts. You gotta like stand still and then you'll like boost up in the air. And then there's like you hold forward and then boost. Oh, quick boost, okay. Boom. This is like dodge.
overboost. Okay, cool. Attack basics. Let's fly up to this bitch. Oh, destroy with my left weapon. Bam! Where's the other dude? Okay, so X, so square or X is the left weapon. No, no, square, yeah. I'm talking Xbox controls. <sighs> Use the right arm to currently equip the rifle, standard firearm. Ba 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 bam. Nice, okay. Use them missiles, bitch! Auto switch weapon automatically selects the best suited weapon for the situation. Okay. So left bumper, right bumper switches your weapons. Misses are equipped the shoulder fire. Use your shoulder weapon three times. Okay. Ba 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 bam. And then B, like fucking circles, also using weapons. Shit, dude. There's a buddy up here. The lock on is really fucked in this game. Are they above me or below me? Oh yeah, there you are, bitch. That was a little scuffed. Realistically, missiles should be called... <laughs> yeah. Enter pilot name. Fornatron. Is that the one that I was just piloting? Just pick this first one. It was the death of a legend and a mass pilfering of technology. The man she saved was an unrivaled raven paired with the next craft, used by research and development in their experiments. The colony Anatolia fell into a sharp financial crisis after losing its sole specialization in technology. 
Relying on a mercenary for hire was the inevitable resolution to keep food on the table. <laughs> it's weird seeing a from software game with like American voices rather than English voices. It was simply the only one who could have made it happen. Okay. Great. Okay. So we got first strike. We got schematics. Asis. AC sys system. What is schematics? Okay. What does this do? Weapon. Cannot edit company standard AC schematics. Create an original schematic based on type ho gear. Yes. Stock A, stock B. I don't know what any of this is. I don't know what any of that is. Paint. Okay, I don't think we can fuck with it. System. Okay, we could save the game. Dope. What game options are there? Oh, it's just this shit. Okay. It is very confusing what, like, what any of this shit is, but let's just play the level. Clearing this mission will lead to the next chapter. Accept the mission. Yes. Eliminate the armed groups occupying Griffin, the independent city. Griffin was abandoned after losing its central infrastructure to large-scale terrorist attacks. These groups just let themselves in and set up shop. This mission is a little show for the Pox, and as Anatolia's next, you're our star. GA, the largest company of the lot, is especially eager to see Griffin rebuilt. We won't get another chance like this to impress them. The stage that almost sounds like Matt Berry. <laughs> From IT Crowd or Toast of London. Father! <laughs> okay. So I have no shoulder weapon? I did not mean to do that. Okay. Weird. I don't have a, like another shoulder weapon. You. Okay. I want to track you. Why won't it let me like lock onto the, this dude right in front of me? It was just like press L3 and like you could see like see how like it shows you a little view of the helicopter. <laughs> yeah, do my rockets not lock on? Fuck yeah. This mech sucks. 
<laughs> I gotta fucking tell ya. C rank. Nice, I got an Xbox achievement. Totalitarian rule by the company's beginning. Totalitarian rule of the company is beginning after the national dismantled wall. Distribution of the planet's limited resources. My L3 button definitely works. Masters took hold of resources and markets alike, driving people into the colonies and lives of harsh labor just to eat. After missing the boat in the development of the next, the new symbol of company power, GA was nothing but an antiquated giant. That was exactly why they accepted our offer. I would love for instead of like a big cannon, I had like a machine gun. And then my left weapon was the blade. And then like a really like intense firing gun so my right weapon was a machine gun and then on my shoulder it's a rocket launcher and i want to be able to zip around acquired 10 units of frs memory nice I don't know what any of this shit is. Okay. What is this? A high powered assault rifle. No frill standard rifle. Standard machine gun. Ooh, a Gatling gun. But it takes too much energy. Left arm. I helped you beat Bloodborne? I didn't even finish the walkthrough yet. I gotta get on that, but hey, I'm happy for you. This balance radar. What the? F what is a radar unit, dude? How about a sniper cannon? Shoulder. Nothing. Nothing. Yes. Let's paint this bitch up. Uh, create new. Color. All. Yeah, that's the best one. End of the year, it'll come to BC. <laughs> we can all play it again. Yeah. Yep, the PC one's coming out any day now. 
Current configuration cannot be built because it includes parts you do not have. Purchasing parts now? Yes. A constructible schematic must be selected before accepting a mission. Brutal. Brutal, dude. Okay, what if I... What if I change this to nothing? Okay, there we go. Objective, protect target. I don't like protecting, but defeat all enemies. Let's do this one, elimination. Let's confirm the mission. GA's Hazen facility has been occupied by an armed terrorist group. The enemy is relying mostly on old weaponry, but it's possible they've activated normals made on site at the factory there. You have clearance to eliminate any normals that oppose you. You're Dude, the DLC is like some of the finest, the, the finest gaming in all of gaming is the Bloodborne DLC. I highly, highly recommend. It goes on sale every now and then. Oh yeah, this feels way better. Ba -ba -ba. Yeah, having a machine gun is the way to go. Yeah, I think I made the wrong play there. So the wrong, I feel like I should switch up um, the left shoulder to have the rockets. Get it, get it, Darkwing. Darkwing's gonna get the Bloodborne DLC. Okay, I was gonna record more episodes so I had an episode in the pipeline uh, for the Bloodborne walkthrough. I've been so busy this month with work. I know, blah, blah, blah. No, one, Hey, well, rank A, bitch. Um, no one cares. But um, I was going to show off like how to use the Whirly Gigsaw glitch. But... 
I was like, oh, is this going to be too hard for people to do? So I decided to not do that. Okay, so I want right back to be, because I like it just. Okay, and left back, I want to be missiles. That's the one. Wow, even though I already had that part. No. Because I played Remnant 1 and I was just like. And I was like, this game's okay. And it's like, I'm not really into playing the second one. I just want to get hype for Armored Core 6. So that's why I'm going to beat Armored Core 4 and then 4 answer. And then I'm going to play. I have Armored Core Verdict Day because you could still buy that on the PSN store for PS3. But then I'm playing it on PS3 and it's like barely hitting 30 FPS. So I don't know if that's the play. Um, all right, let's try to protect the target. Let's confirm the mission. A fleet of unidentified submarines is closing in on the EOC launch site. The ship's weight characteristics indicate they're Omer's Safi class special subs, likely loaded down with Omer's explosive self destruct weapons. You'll stand by on the peninsula and intercept the incoming self-destruct weapons with a volley of fire as they approach the launch site from the shore. Those are your orders. Nice. Those are your orders. I brought my Nintendo Switch with me on my work trips and I straight up didn't even touch it. That's pretty cool. That's pretty rad. Oh, now we're we're dealing with two clusters. Oh shit. Oh, shit. This is so insane. Oh, it told, I thought it was just like, hey, am I out of fucking bullets, though?
Bro, I'm like out of bullets. So what do you do when you're out of bullets? You just get wrecked? I'm like out of bullets, dude. I have to terminate the mission. That was hilarious. You can run out of bullets. Brutal. Hold up. This is incomplete, but that's good. I'm excited for more episodes. I had a hell of a time doing the one skip where you fall down the elevator. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that but once you get that skip though, isn't that so fucking legit? Like that that's the nightmare frontier. And you skip all of the bullshit of that level and you just like sit down. Like, yeah, it takes a lot of like tweaking to do, but you really gotta get your quit outs like like fucking down pat. Pay two dollars for more bullets. Okay, weapon. What is a radar unit? Well, that sucks. What is Operation Descent? Defeat the main enemy. Let's see that one. Eliminate them. Firepower, but they've gotten control of some of the facility's security laser cannons. This is a level three protected area. Finish this operation as quickly as possible. This transport ship would be a sitting duck for those lasers. You'll be dropping down to the facility's core from a high altitude. Those are your orders. Sick. Objective is the enemy's main ground force. Drop down quickly and take them out. Dude, the music in this game is fucked. All right, who wants some?
Where's he at? He's in the wall. Oh, there he is. It'll work. All right. Have a good one. What rank am I? I feel like I rank C that one. Yep. I'm glad you're all right. Oh, let's you just redo that one. Unidentified faction that has invaded the Razgul colony's subterranean facility. Enemy forces are presumably. Enemy radar response in the deepest level confirmed. That's your target. Head down there now. Fuck yeah. I thought that was going to be the same mission, but it wasn't. I got a rank A for that. Nice. Skip. Enemy units confirmed on the opposite bank. Ignore their ground troops. Focus on the long range cannons. Closing distance on the enemy's main force now. AP is down 50%. Radar response from central area long range cannons has stopped dead. That's not all of them. I got rocked. R1L1. Yeah. Dude, that. So. I wish I had a teacher that was as good as me <laughs> when I first started playing one board. Because, like, I didn't know that. Like, beast blood pellets, what they did, or how to use them. And w especially when you're in boss fights, like, it is so OP to, like, know how that shit works. Yeah, this is gnarly. Radar response from central area long range cannons has stopped dead. That's not all of them. AP is down fifty percent. It's weird, like, yeah, like... Targeting stuff is really hard in this game. AP 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna get rocked. I want like a... What? That one thing is going to cost me 250 blah 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 blah? It doesn't just show you how much the shit cost. Yeah, it's like you say at the beginning of the game, I felt like I was going a lot of people just give up here. Yeah, like, no, like, so many, like, I have so many friends that would just be like, nope, it's too hard, can't do it. And you're like, yeah, dude, it's because you got to be aggressive. Okay, we're just gonna be smart with our ammo. gonna be super conservative with our ammo. Last time I was just laying on the pain. This is where the shit got insane. <laughs> and the music just starts over.
shots detected from enemy self-destruct units. There's barely a scratch on the launch site. The mission was a success. Mission success. Please head back. Oh, I got an S rank for that. Nice. Upgrading your weapon early came in clutch. Now we have a plus 10 sauce. So awesome. So gonna play smart, not greedy. These games are, yeah, like that's the thing, right? Like a lot of people think that like dumping a bunch of points into the different attributes is what's going to get you through the game. And it's like, yeah, you can brute force your way through the souls games and then just put like a bunch of, <laughs> you can put a bunch of echoes in a bitch vigor all you want, but it's so more efficient to just like, know where all the upgrade materials are be smart about what you pick up upgrade your weapon just stick with one weapon get it to plus 10 as quickly as possible and then just take advantage of fire paper and beast blood pellets and you will just fucking pwn most of that game and then like you won't have to farm like i remember my first few playthroughs like just getting used to the game i had to farm so much like i would just be like sitting there farming just like shitty echoes just so i could I uh, get my vit up a little bit. This is 15 grand. I feel like this one's going to be hard. Destroy targets. Let's confirm the mission. This time, it's the Maglib Liberation Front's Eritrean stronghold. Eliminate their entire ballistic missile arsenal. This is one of the MLF's central bases. You'll be facing an elite force, including several normals. We've detected a fierce sandstorm in the area, so visibility will be extremely limited. Nice. On tracking targets by radar. Those are your orders. Those are your orders. I gotta say, this game's like pretty okay. Who's shooting at me? Who's shooting at me? Where'd that dude go? I'm getting rocked. AP is down 50%. Eritrean stronghold perimeter breached. Now get in there and destroy the objectives.
This is so this is so horseshit to to fucking look at. Nice. I got fucked up in that mission though. D rank. <laughs> Will you cover the chalice dungeons? Um, probably not. The chalice dungeons, like, the only reason why you want to go through them is for the platinum trophy, is because you need. There's a couple of weapons that you can get down there, and I think, or actually, just one weapon. Oh, let it come to me. And then there's like one boss down there. It's a lot of bullshit though. Let it get as close as possible, then hammer it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Uh, that dude moves fast.
Got rocked. This game is hard. Like this game is not like you just not just winging it. <laughs> I could definitely see why it was like niche. I got to finish off the Bloodborne tutorial and then I can move on to another game. I don't know what game I would do yet, though. Dude, are you joking me? I don't know what radar does. I'm fucked. I feel like I've done a full guide on Demon Souls. Maybe that's on my main channel. But yeah, maybe I'll do the Dark Souls series. Man, this fucking cannon sucks. I played myself big time. You're nearing the edge of the 
Wrecked. Zero, really? Okay, <laughs> what? Oh, okay. You're going, oh, really? I'm stupid. It has been a long week. It's been a long three weeks. Man, this game is crazy. Okay, so that gun really sucked. Sell. At least this game, like, you can, like, buy stuff and then you sell it for the full price. Like, you're not, like, punished. Oh, is that it? Well, the other channel, I use that. I like, I'm still kind of at odds what I should do with all my channels because that one was originally like I did tips on like how to stream and stuff. And then I used to do videos for like Elden Ring hype. And then I got really big on there and then like it just and then I tried playing games on there and then no one wanted to watch me play games. So I was like, okay, loud and clear. I get it. No one gives a shit. No one gives a shit about me playing these games. They just want to hear me talk about these games on the channel. So my main channel is like I'm going to keep it for just like tips on how to stream and like maybe tech stuff. And then this channel is just my scab channel for like actually playing games and talking mad shit about games. <laughs> All 
right. So... What? Well, I'm stoked. I'm stoked to have you here, by the way. I don't know. I'm not too concerned about, like, building, a f like, an audience. But, like, if you're down to hang out, that's cool. Dude, I really don't know. I really don't know with this. Mission rank D. <laughs> it's just like. Like the shittiest. This game's fun. Like I don't mind it, but I just feel like I suck way too hard at it. And it's just like. It's kind of brutal. Um, have you ever seen Demon Souls? On PS3? Or are you just talking about the... Are you talking about the PS5 remake? So I have this, I have the emulated version of Demon's Souls. I also own it on my PS3. I also own the PS5 remake, but I prefer the emulated version. Why? Because in this version, um, it's a it's like it's a Miyazaki game. So like it actually feels appropriate. Compiling PPU modules. I wonder if we're still good enough to play this game and beat the Vanguard Demon, the Demon Vanguard. I bought it on launch. Oh, yeah, baby. I got my PS5 like the week it came out. And it was so funny because I was hyping up the launch of the PS5 by playing this version of Demon's Souls on repeat. I was like, oh, I'm going to hype up the launch of the PS5 release by playing the original and playing through every starting class. And there's 10 starting classes that you can play through. And then I also was doing speed runs of Demon Souls at the time. And then by the time the PS5 came out and I played the PS5 version, it's so like for like that it's the same game. It's the exact same game. I was pretty sick of Demon Souls, not gonna lie. So I get the fucking PS5, I boot up the game, and I'm just like, meh, this is 
straight up just Demon Souls. And I was like, I'm kind of sick of this already. So I just like quickly got the platinum for it. And I was like, all right, I'm done. And I'm done. Man, this takes a while to compile shaders. Okay, so we're going to show off a little bit of this, and it's got to do all this crap. Come on, game. Are you stoked for Armored Core 6 when it comes out? Are you going to play it? What other Souls games have you played? Because you're saying that Bloodborne is the first time you played Bloodborne. You were coming from Elden Ring, right? So obviously you came from the Demon Souls remake, and then you played Elden Ring. And then now you're playing Bloodborne. Is there any other games that you're playing from the from, from software? Come on, PPU modules. I don't even know what those are. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's be... A magician. And we will be scab man. I just want to see if I'm hot gaming girl enough to beat the Va the demon vanguard. Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. Dick. Okay, you don't know, fat roll, nice. Okay, I'm I'm happy with this. Dude, it just feels so good. This game feels so good. Like playing it at 60 FPS. I was trying to get a backstab. Do you know, fun fact, you can't die in this area. Bloodborne is the only one I've played so far, no lie. Well, beat, I've tried the other ones. I have Elden Ring, I've barely played it. Wow. Dude, Elden Ring is a fucking masterpiece. I have a full playthrough on that on this channel. And I teach you the ways. I know that game is super overwhelming. I felt overwhelmed playing it when I first played it. I was like, dude, this game is so big. It's too big. I'm surprised you beat like you got through Gascoigne or uh no not Gascoigne but uh German and like the moon presence. Cause I didn't even do that yet. Alright, let's fuck this dude up. I wanted to get a parry off. Ugh. 
but I'm stoked for you. You should 100% play the other games, though. There we go. Fuck your house. Like, if Blood... If you like Bloodborne, Bloodborne is by far the more visceral of all of the games. Because it's just so much faster. You got bitch. There we go. Ooh, love getting off berries. Blue face night. Oh, he got me. Fuck you. Okay, so this guy plays a little fucky. There you go. Ugh. It's a little bit jank. And it's got some got some half moon grass. So you're supposed to fall for that. You're supposed to be like, ooh, shiny, and then that dude shoots you in the face. Nice, right, got some more crescent moon grass. There's something down here, right? I don't think so. What you got, bitch? Drop anything? Nice, got some more. I'm surprised it let me get that parry off. <laughs> You're like, I fucking, I got this. Okay, so we're going to switch to this. See, the trick is, don't walk on. He's a little too far out. Oh shit. Damn. We did pretty good though. I said I made that one boo boo. Um if you get viscerals like parry him, he can be pretty easy. Okay. While I'm here. I want to watch, there's something that I wanted to watch, and it was, uh, Lords of the Fallen, is the new trailer for it. Welcome to Mornstead, a prominent region within the vast and sprawling world of Lords of the Fallen. 
In today's extended gameplay walkthrough, we're sharing an exclusive... Really? I think this game looks like dog shit. <laughs> like, everybody is so quick to be like, this game looks so good. And it's funny because I at first praised Unreal 5. I was like, I'm stoked that Unreal Engine 5 is like super prominent and a lot of people are switching over to it it's going to enable a lot of people to make good games but after playing a lot of unreal projects they all feel the same and they feel shitty and they all have kind of the same similar look which i'm not a fan of the demon god like it's like generic but detailed at the same time it just has like a certain aesthetic to it This is Skyrest Bridge. It is guarded by Pieta, she of the Blessed Renewal, one of the game's early like bland rubble rock with lava coming out of it. I can t I can already tell. Look at the movement, man. Like the running looks a little stiff and slow. I can already tell. uprising. Oh, holy. I can already tell. Like that movement looks stiff. Grant me the strength to continue to endure these dark days. To lay bare the path to salvation. And yet you now appear before me, a stranger. A betrayal made flesh. Was this voice work done with AI? Like the tone sounds weird. Oh yeah. Look at the rolls abilities are seamlessly interwoven alongside standard attack look at that role like how we like oh maybe like oh like maybe he's a low level and you can level that up i hate that yeah look at how shitty that role looks this rapidly speeds up combat and reduces the need to swap between options as with many of the imposing bosses you'll encounter Pieta has two very distinct stages. Yeah, I don't like that. It looks stiff. Necessarily the end in Lords of the Fallen. When slain in Axiom, Yeah, Lords of the Fallen came out in 2014. And it was so shit. It was so dog shit that the developers were like, let's just redo it. We love the name Lords of the Fallen, but we're not making a sequel. It's a remake. Yeah, this looks stiff as fuck, dude. People are always like, you can't tell how a game is before you play it. I I can. I hate to tell you, but I can. I'm watching this right now. It looks stiff as fuck. I don't care if this is the first boss that you run into. You should not roll that stiff. And what's with all these shitty magic ranged attacks? Like, are you a mage? Or are you supposed to be a knight? Though few and far between, these flowers denote special. Yeah, that, I don't know. That didn't look that cool. We can spawn a resting point known as a vestige seedling. These come at a significant resource cost, however, and we can only spawn one at a time. The realms of Axiom and Umbral exist in parallel. Each world features its own unique pathways, enemies, characters, and, of course, treasures. We can now use this crafty vestige to return to axiom it's so funny like kudos to this game dev but i always criticize different game devs for like copying souls likes but not like going the whole way i love like this presentation because this is clearly inspired by how from software have presented both armored core 6 and elden ring like they have like the dude with the english accent this guy's scottish or he's he, he's maybe irish um they have the dude with the accent who introduces the game and like what's going on that run like i don't know if they're running or if they're just holding up but they're moving fucking slow
Okay, looks like you get a guard break. See, like, just like clutter for the sake of clutter, I feel like. A lot of places need to, like, go to the school from software on level design. Like, there's just shit everywhere. Secondary realm at any time by raising the umbral lamp. Though, be advised, this also renders you vulnerable to its inhabitants. We will now use the lamp to cross over to Umbral, though doing so will consume one of our two lives, and it isn't so easy to return to the world of the living. Well, I'm a sarcastic prick and I'm a snob, so don't go by what I say. If you're stoked for this game, stay stoked for it. When attacked from the back, or when it reveals its true form. Like, I just feel like a lot of these enemy designs are just like, don't make logical sense. I don't know, like, From Software definitely puts a lot of care into their enemy design and their level design as well. But like, some games, like, it will just be like, let's have a fucking head with a thing on the inside just cuz. Because we bought this. <laughs> We bought this head sculptor sculpt from the Unreal Market. Uh, so we'll just use it. We'll throw it in somewhere. You'll also come across permanent vestiges on your travels. As well as using these to return to Axiom. You can also level okay, so you could switch between both the realms. That's really annoying, though. Like, okay, cool concept, but it's just like, okay, what if I go through the whole level and I don't go through the other the other realm? Like, am I gonna miss out on stuff? Will I not be able to progress the level until I go to the other realm within the level? Is it just to get like extra? Materials of some kind like what's the benefit like? I hate that in games where like things are too open. It's not really direct on where to go. And if you have like too many options, like Elden Ring pushed it definitely. Like if you didn't have the sights of grace, like pointing you where you should go, like you would just be like, where am I supposed to run to? Like you just run all over the place and not where to know where to go. Your Elden Ring series is complete, right? It 100% is. Baby. How many episodes was that? I feel like it was a lot. YouTube.com forward slash at Fornitron Gaming Playlists. Yeah, Elden Ring. How many episodes did I have? Eleven. But they were much longer though. So if Bloodborne was the first one that I condensed them down to like 20 minutes. Because I just felt like an hour was just like too long for people to like stay with me the whole way. But it's all in here. Three schools of sorcery can be mastered. Rulgar, Radiant, and Umbral. Each specializing in a different area of the arcane. So Pyromancy... Miracles and sorcery. <laughs> I hate it when games like I, I get it. They want to differentiate themselves from the Souls games, but like they want to like make up their own La La Land names for shit, and it just makes it really confusing. It's like, dude, just say like magic, miracles, and pyromancy, or magic, miracles, like flame magic. Like, something that clearly tells you, like, what the shit is. And you can be like, sorcery is mastered in Umbral, or wherever the hell that they said. Yeah, dude, you could just tell, like, the dodging and stuff looks not that fluent. It looks very stiff. Even the movement speed looks a little stiff.
And this looks like a pretty leveled up character. An age old borough built into the very cliff face. Pilgrim's Perch typifies the verticality. Of typifies. The there are myriad pathways stretching both above and below with hidden areas, treasures, and NPCs all awaiting discovery. Okay, we saw that enemy already. Okay, you can kick him off. Great. Oh, I wonder if there's climbing speed. Demon Souls, you could not hold the like the run button while you climb, and you had to climb really slow, and that looked pretty slow. I was like, man, this feels like 14 episodes, 20 minutes or so a piece. Couldn't believe we got through it so fast. Yeah. And we're not even done. But I feel like I could like blast through the DLC pretty quickly because I was just about to go through the DLC before I stopped. I've just speed run Bloodborne so many times and done so many meme runs. Like I just know all of the most efficient ways to go through that game. Same with most of the games. Even like I've had more way more practice with Dark Souls 2 now and I can fucking just like crush that game now before I'd get lost and forget where you're supposed to go next. As a lamp bearer, all players are equipped with a devastating ability, the soul flay. By using one of a limited number of soul charges, we are able to extract the very soul of an enemy. Mm, that's dumb. Significant damage. That's a stupid mechanic. I don't like that. See how we kind of snap to your location there? Yeah, look at that. Can I slow mo this? How do you change playback speed? Let's go point two five. Okay, watch this. He like totally snapped to their location. Which I hate. I really hate enemies that do that. Yeah, I really don't know if they're just not holding the run button, but like the movement seems slow in this game. Okay, we've seen this enemy enough times. It's kind of a shit spell. Yeah, that'd be super annoying. Like, everywhere you go, like, for, especially for your first couple of playthroughs, you're going to be fucking holding up that stupid lamp, being like, oh, should I go this way? The soul flay ability can also be used to manipulate the very environment when in umbral. Okay, so why did you come up here? So is it weapons that you come here for? Like, do you get better stuff? Look at, like, yeah, I get that's a heavy weapon, but shit, dude. That looks clunky as fuck.
Okay, NPC. Oh, yeah, ignore them. We now find ourselves in Lower Calrath. An ever Lower Calrath. For its displays of barbarity. Everything just looks like so generic and bland. It's like, it is impressive. Like the graphics are definitely better. Like higher fidelity than like all from software games, but it's just bland, right? Oh, it's definitely gonna be linear. Linear is okay. Like, get from the start of the level to the end of the level. Like, I get that. That's f That part's fine. As a radiant sorcerer, our ally is able to buff either character with various enhancements. Great. AoE. This character seems like they move a little bit better. I wonder what the UI is going to look like. That's what I'm wondering. Dude, how long is this preview? Does it show a boss? Yeah, it does. It's time to face off against the colossal spurned progeny. Scourge of Calrath. Like, even that just, like, look how stupid that looks. That looks like the Demon of Song with some fucking hair on it. It looks like the thing from where the wild things are. <laughs> Just like with shitty legs. It's like, okay, it's got a hand in its mouth. See, this is just like, dude, take lessons from Miyazaki. Like when they're, when they're uh, designing, um, the gaping dragon in Dark Souls 1, like they were trying to make it really grotesque. And then Miyazaki was like, hey, like don't make it, don't make it grotesque for the sake of being grotesque. Like everything should have like its own kind of like dignity and honor. And it's like, have a design logic like that. And like, this is just like, oh, let's, what if we put an arm in its mouth? It's like, okay. The lands of Mornstead await you. Pre-order Lords of the Fallen now and prepare to unleash the darkness. On Friday, the so they didn't even show the UI. So let's look at Elden Ring gameplay uh, reveal. It was this. This is a site of grace, acting as a place of rest for the player. See? Occasionally, Grace will manifest rays of. Yeah, they also don't show you why. But even just look at this. Like, look how much fucking better this game looks. Like, sure, it doesn't have, like, some of the fidelity that that other game had, but you could just tell. But again, you're comparing, like, if, like. No, I think Lords of the Fallen is made by, like, a pretty big game dev.
CI Games Deck 13. That's who made the original. CI Games. They're from 20, 2002. Wow, they made a lot of shit. Put those doubts to rest. I'll be just fine. I'm very well trained. Give it your all, I say. Yeah, I, I thought they were owned like by like EA or something. Okay, yeah. Sniper Ghost Warrior. Ah. Well played, good sir. Well played. So that's mighty I guess. Almost felt the end of me. <laughs> All right, well that was interesting. <laughs> oh. Lords of the Fallen looks like shit. I, mean, I, don't, I don't think it looks that great. Armored Core 6 just looks so good. Again, they do the same thing. Hello, and thanks for checking out the video. It's the same guy. With this footage, we'll introduce our new mech action game, Armored Core But in this one, they actually showed UI, Overwatch which is interesting. To four weapons simultaneously, equipped to each arm and shoulder. I'm definitely stoked for Armored Core 6. All right, okay. I think I'm gonna end it here. I've been streaming for about two hours, which is not that long, but like I was also fiddling around the stream for quite a bit of time. But Darkwing, I appreciate you stopping by. You've inspired me to finish the Bloodborne um, tutorial, so I might do that and just get it out there, and then that way I can start on a new game. But I think I'm gonna be starting to stream on YouTube more often. And again, if you weren't here earlier for my reasoning why, I was streaming on Twitch. And like, I don't even have an audience on Twitch. So who, who gives a shit? I don't even have an audience here. So again, who gives a shit? But the difference is on Twitch, there's no way for me to completely shut off ads. So I don't want people to have to watch ads when they come to my stream. There should be no ads. Like maybe when this channel gets to the threshold, I'll put ads on like regular content. But for streams, I don't want any ads. And you just can't do that on Twitch. Asmund Gold does it on his on his alt channel. I don't know how he does it, but normal plebs like me can't do that. So I'm going to be streaming on YouTube. That way, whenever I feel like just playing a game, I can just play it and stream it. And you guys can come hang out and talk shit with me. But in the meantime, I'll still plan on putting more content on this channel. I will post content to the other channel eventually, but... Who cares? Um, <laughs> fin fin you already finished the game, but you got to get the DLC. Um, but yeah, works less crazy. I can get back to doing shit now. So you'll see more of me. But anyway, I'm out of here. Have a good night, everybody. Cheers.